question. Here we start with the introduction. Decision taken on the basis of central tendency is sometimes misleading. To know the structure of data, the dispersion is very important. Dispersion indicates the extent to which the individual value falls away from the average. Now that means decision taken based of central tendency. Central tendency means our last chapter, where we found the mean, median and mode. कोई भी डिसीजन अगर हम किसी एवरेज यानी कि मीन मीडियन मोड पे लिया जाए तो इट कैन बी अ मिस्टेक उस इन दैट व्यू डिस्पर्जन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट विल बी मोर क्लियर विद दिस एग्जांपल नाउ द डेफिनेशन हैज बीन गिवन बाय कार्ल पियर्सन दैट द मेजर व्हिच शोस हाउ फार द ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ द डेटा आर स्कैटर्ड मींस हाउ मच इट हैज बीन स्प्रेड फ्रॉम द मेजर ऑफ एवरेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिस्पर्जन Now this definition will be more clear with this example. अब इस एग्जाम्पल को ध्यान से देखो तो यहाँ पर आपको दिखेंगे कि year यानी कि पाँच साल है और profit of the A यहाँ पर company A, B और C इन सब के profits रखे हैं Profit of A अगर आप profit of A का देखते हो तो यहाँ पर आपको दिखेंगे हर साल थर्टी 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 प्रॉफिट हुआ है जिसको टोटल करो तो वन फिफ्टी और 150 को डिवाइड बाय 5 करें तो इट इज 30 लैक एवरेज आया वैसे ही प्रॉफिट ऑफ बी जहां पे हम देखते हैं कि फर्स्ट ईयर इट वाज 15 देन सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ इट वाज 30 और फिफ्थ ईयर में 45 यानी कि यहां पे इतना वेरिएशन नहीं है इतना ज्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं है प्रॉफिट में तो यहां पे इन सारे प्रॉफिट को टोटल करने पर एवरेज टोटल इज वन जिस आउट ऑफ टोटल We divide the number of years. That's our average. So, वहाँ पर भी मिला thirty lakh. Now, the profit of C, where we can see कि पहले साल तो minus में answer आया, like minus five में profit गया, मतलब loss. Then thirty, then seventy, then again thirty, then twenty five. They did. अब यहाँ पे बहुत ज़्यादा variation दिख रहे हैं. कि पहले साल तो loss में थे, बाद में थोड़ा thirty हुआ, then seventy, then there is a नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंस बहुत ज़्यादा है बट स्टिल अगर यहाँ पर भी पाँच साल के टोटल को टोटल करके देखे तो यर आल्सो इट फाइंड 150 फिफ्टी एंड अगेन वी फाइंड एवरेज इज थर्टी नाउ डिस्पर्जन व्हाट इज़ द इम्पोर्टेंट ऑफ डिस्पर्जन हम जैसे कि हर बार हम फाइंड आउट कर रहे हैं एवरेज कि एवरेज कितना होगा पर यहाँ पर डिफरेंस द डिफरेंस ऑफ वेरिएशन तो कोई देख ही नहीं रहा है तो यहाँ पर प्रॉफिट ऑफ ए यहाँ पर हम बोलेंगे कि भाई डिस्पर्जन नहीं है यहाँ पे प्रॉफिट ऑफ बी इतना ज़्यादा नहीं है क्योंकि डिफरेंस इतना ज़्यादा नहीं आया फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टू फाइव इयर्स पाँच साल में इतना ज़्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं है ऑलमोस्ट एवरेज थर्टी ही आया पर यहाँ पे प्रॉफिट ऑफ सी यहाँ पे डिस्पर्जन बहुत ज़्यादा है बिकॉज यहाँ पे डिफरेंस बहुत ज़्यादा है ड्यू टू द नंबर ऑफ वेरिएशन सो हेयर यू कैन सी दियर देर इज़ ए नो वेरिएशन इन द प्रॉफिट ऑफ द कंपनी ए एज इट रिमेन सेम फॉर ऑल फाइव ईयर्स The yearly profit of company B is nearer to its average profit thirty lakh, but for the company C, its yearly profit are very far from its average profit. Hence, the measure of average, yani ki mean, median, mode, of these three companies are same, but their profit differ in terms of variation. So, यहाँ पे इस chapter में हम ये dispersion find out करने वाले हैं. यहाँ पे दो measures हैं, that is absolute measure and relative measure. Absolute measure, a measure of dispersion which is expressed in the same unit in which the observation of the data are expressed, is called absolute measure. More clear by example, if the original data are in kilogram, an absolute measure will also be in kilogram. यानी कि जो भी आपको original data, जो भी information आपको मिला है, वो information जिस unit में मिला है, अगर calculation उसी unit में हो, तो ये absolute measure है. And in relative measure. A measure of dispersion which is free from the units of measurement is called relative measure of dispersion. The relative measure of dispersion is known as coefficient of dispersion. यानी कि यहाँ पे unit बदल के हम calculate करेंगे और ये पूरे chapter में we are going to find out relative measure. Now in this chapter we are going to learn total four method method of dispersion. The first one is range. The difference between the highest and the lowest observation of the data is called range. and it is denoted as r the relative range is also known as coefficient of range here you can see the formula formula to find out the range and coefficient of range the second method of dispersion is quartile deviation 
the measure of variation defined by using the middle 50 percent of the observation arranged in increasing order of magnitudes is called quartile deviation which is also known as semi interquartile range the relative measure of quartile deviation is is coefficient of quartile deviation so here all time our first step will be to find out quartile deviation that is q3 minus q1 divided by 2 and then on that base we will find out coefficient of quartile deviation the formula will be q3 minus q1 upon q3 plus q1 third step is to find out mean deviation the mean of the observation deviation of the observation of a data from the mean is called mean deviation now here the formula to find out mean deviation when it is a raw data the formula will be this where you be are not going to find out the frequency the step will be more clear with the calculation but remember in mean deviation when the information is given in raw data first the information has to be arranged moving to the next the formula to find out relative measure of mean deviation which is also known as coefficient of mean deviation and the formula will be mean deviation divided by mean fourth step is to find out standard deviation the positive square root of average value of square of deviation from the mean obtained for all the observation is known as standard deviation which is denoted as s and the square of standard deviation is known as variance that is s square note the standard deviation is an absolute measure of dispersion if standard deviation is divided by the mean of the data then it's be, it's turned to relative measure of dispersion it is called as coefficient of standard deviation now here there is here in the formula i have just explained with the steps that how it has to be go now here for raw data means ungrouped data diya ho the first step has to be find out mean which will be the total of x that is sigma x divided by number of information now in this information if you find the mean in integer matlab ke koi bhi number aapke uh, पॉइंट के साथ नहीं दिया है डेसिमल के साथ नहीं दिया है और तब आपको ये वाला फॉर्मूला यूज़ करना है फॉर द सेकेंड स्टेप एंड इफ द आंसर केम इन डेसिमल देन यू वी हैव टू यूज दिस स्टेप दिस फॉर्मूला देर इज ऑल्सो वन मोर फॉर्मूला हैज बिन इंट्रोड्यूस इन द टेक्सट बुक टू फाइंड आउट शॉर्टकट मैथड नाउ इन द मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू यूज दिस मैथड दिस टू इज इनफ टू फाइंड आउट स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन बट in case if small question can be asked by this formula so i'll explain any one of the question in the shortcut method as well then the last step to find out standard deviation will be the coefficient of standard deviation where we'll keep the value of s that is from the step 2 and mean from the step 1 and in the question here also i have suggested that if asked in the question so many time as a, a questions hai jahan pe coefficient of state स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन नहीं मांगा है तो वी कन्फर्म बाय रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन कि कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन लिखना है कि नहीं एंड आल्सो इट हैज बीन आस्क कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ वेरिएंस वेरिएंस वेयर द आंसर विल गेट इन परसेंटेज सो द सेम फार्मूला फार्मूला आप देख सकते हो स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन वाला ही फार्मूला वेरिएशन में रखा है सिर्फ उसको मल्टीप्लाई बाय 100 करना है तो यू विल गेट द कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ वेरिएंस नाउ दिस ऑल इंफॉर्मेशन वाज रिलेटेड टू रॉ डेटा now the information is going to turn into discrete and continuous data whole each and every formula will be same par jab discrete or continuous information ho tab hame sath mein frequency di jati hai to har ek formula mein frequency add ho jayegi that you can see from this here is the formula here you can see in the step 1 where in the first step in the raw data we use directly sigma x yahan pe humko frequency ke sath x lena hai and even here agar aapko information integer mein milta hai means without decimal to aapko ye wala formula use karna hai aur agar answer decimal mein aa raha hai mean ka to ye formula use karna hai and as usual i just gave the shortcut method over here that these are the also formulas and the third is third step is to find out coefficient of standard deviation and if in the question ask about the coefficient of variance so this is will be the formula these are the main four steps for the this measure of dispersion now there is a one more here i have shown which is also asked in the 
chapter that is combined standard deviation this will be useful when the two group of data will be given suppose two group data obtained from the population then the mean and standard deviation of this combined group are known as combined mean and combined standard deviation and their formula are as followed here you can see it's a quite big formula of combined standard deviation now here also there is a steps if i combine standard deviation is this and combine mean which we have already learned in the last chapter yahan pe aapko ek steps ki tarah formula solve karna padega pehle step 1 to find out the combined mean on that base we'll find out d1 and d2 and then the third step to solve the standard deviation It, this will be more clear when i will show you in the solution now here i'm going to show the formula page if you can just take the screenshot of this and then get it print out because this formula is quite different explained from the as compared to the textbook the another page is this now the video will be continue with the solution of the exercise exercise 4.1 measure of from the chapter measure of dispersion here we start the first question the following data refers to the heights in centimeters of 10 students of a class find the range and coefficient of range of height of the students here the information is given in raw data so first of all out of this hope you remember the formula so here first we'll write down the formula to find out range that is x h means the highest observation minus lowest observation so out of this first we'll find out the highest observation here we can see 185 which is highest observation minus the lowest now we'll see जो सबसे कम हो वैल्यू हियर वी कैन सी द वन फोर्टी फाइव गेट द माइनस यू विल गेट फोर्टी एंड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवन इन द हाइट इन सेंटीमीटर सो द रेंज विच वी फाइंड आउट दैट इज फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर देन एज यूजल विल फाइंड आउट को एफिशियंट ऑफ रेंज ना फॉर दिस Again, we'll take the highest observation minus lowest observation divided by highest observation plus lowest observation. Now the same information will take one eighty five minus one forty five divided by one eighty five plus one forty five. Get them subtract. You will get forty, and if you add them, you will get three thirty. And here we got the answer zero point twelve. The coefficient of range is. Well, at the end, just write down that so the range of the student height is forty centimeter, and the coefficient of range is zero point twelve. Moving to the next question, a bus company has seventy seven buses for traveling in the city. The information of number of passenger in bus on a particular day at a particular time is given below. Find the range and coefficient of range of number of passenger. Now, number of passenger. यर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यहाँ पे हमको हाइस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन मतलब ये हमारा एक्स है और ये फ्रिक्वेंसी हमें हर बार एक्स में ही देखना है ये जो अपना फर्स्ट कॉलम है उसी में से आपको फाइंड आउट करना है कि हाइस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन कौन सा है और लोएस्ट या वी कैन सी द हाइस्ट इज थर्टी सेवन एंड द लोएस्ट इज टू नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी डोंट नीड टू प्रिपेयर अ टेबल यहाँ पे कोई टेबल बनाने की जरूरत नहीं है रेंज में हम सिर्फ हाइस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन और लोएस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन ढूंढ रहे हैं तो ये है आपका हाइएस्ट और ये लोएस्ट सेम एज दिस जस्ट राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूला यर टू फाइंड आउट द रेंज दैट इज द हाइएस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन माइनस लोएस्ट किप द वैल्यू थर्टी सेवन माइनस टू एंड हियर द आंसर विल बी थर्टी फाइव पैसेंजर एज आस्क इन द क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज को of range of number of passenger which has been asked in the question so again the formula will be highest observation plus lowest observation so now here we'll take the value 
as we can see 37 minus 2 and upon 37 plus 2 the minus sign we know how much it will come 35 and by adding we'll get 39 and get them divide you will get 0.90 next using the following frequency distribution of marks of student of a school find the range and relative range of the marks remember relative range matlab coefficient of range yahan pe marks diya hai aur yahan pe aap dekh sakte ho ki information continuous frequency distribution mein diya hai again no formula is going to change not even the method aapko yahan se sirf dekhna hai ki highest value kaun sa hai 80 aur lowest observation 20 just keep take this information into your solution first we'll write down the formula range is equal to highest observation minus lowest observation highest humne dekha 80 and the lowest was 20 so the answer will be 60 next coefficient of range that is highest observation minus lowest again highest observation plus lowest so the just keep the value 60 minus 20 sorry 80 minus 20 and 80 plus 20 here we get 60 upon 100 and the final answer is 0 0.60 next the frequency distribution of daily income in thousand of 80 shops of an area isn't following the absolute and relative measure of range of daily income from it now here you can see the question is asked in the inclusive continuous frequency but again same no need to make the table or anything just take the highest frequency uh, highest observation and the lowest observation now first we'll keep the formula range highest observation minus lowest highest here we took 34 and the lowest was 5 get them subtract you will get 29 next is coefficient of range highest minus lowest highest plus lowest observation that is 34 minus 5 and upon 34 plus 5 getting minus we already find out the range so it would be 29 and 34 plus 5 it would be 39 and out of this calculation we'll get 0 0.7436 where the third digit is lower than the second one so yahan pe 0 0.74 answer here we complete exercise 4.1 moving to the next exercise